you guys know the difference between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval? Hi and hello and thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years. Now it's been a very long time since I did a video on a mortgage topic. So today we are going to be talking about pre-qualification versus the pre-approvals and what is truly better for you. But first, you know the drill guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe and tap that bell icon. It really gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. Now, many consumers are unaware that there are major differences between pre-qualification and pre-approval. And these differences are important, especially depending on where you really are in the home buying journey. For a lot of clients who want to start the journey but don't yet want to engage with a real estate agent or a mortgage professional or even go to the bank, they will lean on a pre-qualification tool that's normally found online. But it's important to note that pre-qualification tools don't generally have a credit application. What this means is you're not actually providing a credit report. There's no review of your credit or there's no review of your actual income or any kind of employment validation. So it's up to you, the user, to input the data correctly. And if that person doesn't input that information correctly, it will skew the numbers or the qualification amount that is generated in the pre-qualifier. And a lot of times clients may have an expectation set by that pre-qualification and not understand that maybe, just maybe, they've inputted the information incorrect. Such as if a person is a salaried employee versus an hourly uh, wage or has fluctuating income or is self-employed or you know salary plus commission or maybe there's an additional revenue stream that you've not included or that you have an existing property that you forgot to mention those details that could be a big factor in what you really qualify for and why that qualification is not correct not to mention when it goes through the application process for credit what type of credit card debts do you have you know you might be paying one thing but it actually reflects differently on your credit bureau and that's what the lenders will use so it is important to be aware of some of these distinctions so obviously a pre-qualification tool is good to start the journey as there's no credit check no income validation required and it gives you the ability to get a baseline of potentially where you can be but let's say you're ready to start the journey now to start putting in an offer and actually actively hunt for a home now it's very important to get a pre-approval and this is different because a mortgage professional or a lender will actually take the time to underwrite that deal and start to look at documentation generally when a pre-approval is initiated an application will be completed and you'll be asked for information very particular information such as copies of your driver's license your employment verification and all of these documents documents will differ if you're a salaried employee or are you self-employed individual if you have any additional properties they need details for all of that then they will look at your credit report provided by either Equifax or TransUnion to better understand where you are when it comes to credit what liabilities you have and more importantly if there's anything on that credit report that needs to be rectified then comes the down payment how much money are you going to be putting down and where are those funds coming from where are they located are they coming as a gift are they coming from your savings investments or is it coming from overseas so these are all important elements that that are required during the pre-approval process. And it is at this time that it's extremely imperative to be working with someone who has the experience in the industry. It will prove to be invaluable because most lenders will not underwrite that information or even look at those documents until the deal does not go live with that particular lender. And if there are any discrepancies, by then it's way too late to get it fixed. So understanding all these nuances is very, very important. There are so many different components 
components to that pre-approval that it is important for buyers to understand them and it does not cost you anything. So why not take that precautionary step of the pre-approval and save yourself from future aggravation. So stay tuned and if you have questions or want any kind of clarifications, please don't hesitate to call me. If you still don't know who I am, just go check out my rating on Google and read my client reviews. Till then, take care. And if you found value or like this video and would like to see more content, then click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Preeti Rao. My contact information is in the description box below. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home.